Alright, what's up? What's going on guys? Captain Monk here and welcome back to Pokemon Omega Ruby. In the last episode we managed to travel all the way to Verdon Turf Town. I actually got the name wrong in the last time. I was calling it Vendon Turf the entire time, but yeah, it's Verdon Turf. And in this episode we're going to be traveling along this route here. But there's one thing I actually missed that I want to go back and quickly do. Because uh, obviously I don't want to miss anything too big in this playthrough. And at some point in the game this will become a thing. And by that point if I don't do it you know, now, it'll... It won't be as worth as much as that, that makes sense. There's a few trainers actually to the right here that I actually completely forgot about, so... I'll cover this little small area first, and then I will proceed upwards from Marvel City. So look at our team. Our team is looking pretty solid. Looks like our Shroomish is probably going to evolve in this episode as well, which I'm really looking forward to. So let's see, is this Lady Trainer? The aroma of flowers has a magical power. It, clean, it cleanses us, body and soul. Good to know. Now I know. Thank you. Consider me informed. It's all about flowers, man. It's all about flowers. Sh Shroomish versus an Oddish. This looks like a very boring battle. <laughs> oh, man. Alrighty. Well, I mean, I could sit here and spam Headbutt. Yeah, I feel like I'm, I think I'm going to do exactly that. Because I don't think Leech Seed works against Grass types. I might be wrong about that. But that's a decent amount of damage. So this, sh this shouldn't take as long as I thought it might. But that's going to hurt. Yeah. I'm just going to be a man. I'm just going to take it. Because I want to get Shroomish to level 21, and I, or 22, and I realize he'll get to level 22 regardless, but I want to do it quicker rather than later, so. Please don't crit. Okay, cool, didn't crit, so I should be able to take this guy out unless he heals. Yes, no healing. Wonderful. Nice job, Shroomish, you beast. Alright, level 22. Pretty sure one more level to go, and then he evolves. Cannot wait. Worry Seed. Is that the move that keeps him awake? I'm pretty sure it is. Let me check. Oopsies, what the heck? Oh. Oh, I see what that is. I had no idea what that was. Uh, seeds that, a seed that causes worry is planted on the target. No shit, thank you for that. It prevents sleep by making the abilities ability insomnia. That's such a worthless move. Why would anyone want that? Quit. No, I do not want to get rid of anything. Yeah, worry seed just seems kind of trash. Alright, Roselia. Yeah, I think I will swap out for this one because Roselia is, I think, the same typing. Poison and grass, and I don't really want to deal with that shit. I think Electric could probably take it out with just a few, um, quick attacks? I think that's the attack it's got. I can't even recall what the attacks are. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Electric, I think, has quick attack of some sort. Alright, Mega Drain, you know, let's get him to do some damage, but not too much. Yeah, quick attack should be fine. I mean, I could use an Electric attack, but... Uh, maybe I should use it. Yeah, I'll just use Thunder Fang, see how much that does. I know it's not going to be very effective, but if I combine it with Stab, maybe it'll do more? No, it won't. Flinch and couldn't move. Oh, maybe if I can spam flinches, maybe I'll have a better chance this fight. Can I get another flinch? Nope. Damn it. Alright, well, if you get a lot of flinches on an opponent, it works out pretty well for you. Alright, let's see if how much quick attack does, because I'm pretty sure I can survive one more Mega Drain. Alright, about the same amount of damage. Yeah, Electric's pretty weak. You really need to get a Manetric for it to be strong. And that's gonna kill me if I stay in because he'll use Mega Drain and kill me for sure, so. I'm gonna switch out into our Swellow. We actually haven't used our Swellow yet since we evolved it, so we may as well use it. Swellow is a beast of a Pokemon. At least at this stage in the game, he's amazing. Leech Seed. Yeah, that's not gonna, that's not gonna scare me off too much. I like how Swellow is just like flying in place. <laughs> I mean, I, I get the point of that, but seriously, there's, I don't see why they did that. I, I feel like they would've been better off just leaving it standing like Taylor was. If a Pokemon's hovering, that's one thing, but flying in place like that, that's just... That just seems silly. But, you know, what do I know? Oh, nice, I got level 23 as well. Resilia with all that XP. Nice, nice. Everyone gets a bit of XP. Oh dear me, I seem to have lost. Of course you've lost. Using worthless Pokemon to level 16. Then again, she'd probably have an easy time with the first gem. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and restore up some health on Shroomish. And now you super. Alrighty, and I'm pretty sure we have to heal up our electric as well. Yeah, restore. Let's see, where's Antidote? Here we go, Antidote. And I think, yeah, I'll just use the super as well. That'll be fine. Alrighty then. So I may as well switch these two and get electric another level or two. And then we'll trip Shroomish again to level 23. And that's when he'll evolve, which would be awesome. Even if there's a, even if there isn't a boat, you can cross rivers and the sea if you have a Pokemon that knows Surf. 
Pokemon can be counted on to do so much. Hallelujah for Pokemon. Surfing Pokemon. I remember back in the day when I first figured out what Surf was, and I literally thought Pokemon would Surf instead of, you know, you surfing on them. <laughs> I thought it was the greatest. For fishermen, equipment is the key. But for trainers, the key ingredients are Pokemon and Heart, of course. Man, with these trainers with all their really in-depth and deep meaning phrases they use. What happens to the old classics of, oh hey, battle me? Uh, alrighty, well let's just go ahead and use Volt Switch. It should one-shot this Carvana. Yeah, I realize a lot of these levels on these Pokemon is a little low, but... I completely forgot about this area, so I completely skipped it, but I should have done it. But it's, it's not a big deal. We'll cover it here. I was beaten in heart. Hell yeah, you were beaten in heart. Is there any more trainers here? There are. What's up, dude? Nice get up. Let my melody rock your soul. Yeah, I would like to have my soul rocked. That'd be awesome. Guitarist Dalton. Alrighty. Magnemite. Oh man, this is gonna be annoying. I'm gonna have to switch out. I think I'll just put in Marsh Top, because anyone else I put in is gonna take forever to take this guy out. Alright, Marsh Tomp, do your thing. Sonic Boom, really? Eh, well, some damage. I think Sonic Boom does 20, no matter what, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, I'm at 44 and I'm at 64 max, so yeah, must be 20 per hit. But yeah, much Shot's gonna take him out, no problemo. Well, 22, nice. Wismer. Alright, I think I'll just use leave Marsh Tomp in, just to make this quick. Quick and easy. And I think Mud Bomb actually does more damage, so let's just use that. Yep, that does a lot of damage. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, Marsh Top's so strong, I love it. La 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 la. What are you, some sort of fairy tale person? Alright, last trainer here, I think. Oh, there's an item. What's up, item? Stardust. Nice. Alright, so let's see. Uh, our Pokemon... Yeah, we just train up Shroomish. If we get Shroomish to level 23, he will evolve, and I cannot wait for that, because Shroomish as is is just kind of boring. Pokemon that swim with elegance in the vast ocean are nice. If you have the move called Surf, you can swim with the Pokemon too. Oh, you're not even a trainer. Well, that's kind of useless. But yeah, they're basically hinting at that you need Surf to continue upon that route. I don't have Surf yet, of course. I'm only at, what, the third gem? Well, I beat the third gem, but that's the only one I've done so far. I have to do the fourth one now. Which is up this way, so now that we've covered that area, we've pretty much covered everything that we can up to this point, as far as I know. I mean, there might be other stuff, like the Pokemon contest and shit, that I'm really not interested in. I just want to do the classic stuff, you know, trainers, gyms, poke training Pokemon and stuff. Yeah, classic stuff, not that extra contest and berry crap. Alrighty, what's up, Pokemon Breeder? I challenged the Winstraight family for four- wait, but four matches in a row is, t is tough going. They destroyed me. Oh right, I remember this. Yeah, that's a family of four, and they basically they battle you one by one by one, and there's no breaks between. I think this should be a good way to demonstrate Brelum's power, because once we beat like one or two, Brelum will evolve, and then we can go from there. Hello, I take it you're a traveler. What do you say to taking on our family of four in a series of Pokemon battles? Sure. That's the spirit. I like you. Well, I like you too. Your your shirt's kind of cute. Makes me nice and moist. Sent out Taylor. Alrighty, this is going to be a tough first battle, so I'm already going to have to switch out, because Shroomish cannot take on a Taylor. No way, Jose. Taylor will just use, like, Aerial Ace or Wing Attack or something, I'll be down to half health, if not more. So, Electric will be the man for this one. Focus Energy. You know, fun fact, actually, I learned about Focus Energy recently, is in first generation, instead of increasing your crit chance, it actually divided it. So in first generation, Focus Energy was actually a hindrance to use, making it, like, the worst move, worse than Splash, because it actually hindered you instead of just doing nothing. But yeah, Thunder Fang looks kick ass, and that's gonna one-shot the Taylo. Very nice. Alright, who's next? Zigzagoon. Alright, I may as well just leave the Electric again, because he's not gonna get much training in this battle, or in these series of battles anyways. Uh, Thunder Fang. Nice damage. Oh, he's got one of those stupid items. Is it an Orenberry? Orenberry, yeah. Flinching couldn't move. Booyah. 
All right, Volt Switch might actually take it out because my special's high. Yep, there it is. Hallelujah. Aha, you're stronger than I thought. Well, I guess you thought very far off. Hey, y'all, I found a pretty strong trainer. Really has to announce it to his entire family. But uh, speaking of which, how does a family of four live in a house that small? I mean, seriously. <laughs> my goodness, aren't you young? You must be quite the trainer. Beat my husband, though. Now I suppose it's my turn to battle. Your husband's a pushover. Don't make it seem like he's great. Come on. Roselia. Really? More th more Pokemon that my Shroomish can't really take on, of course. I mean, I could win this battle, but it would take forever. I don't think Leech Seed works on Grass types, so I'm not gonna bother with that. And he's got Poison moves, so yeah, I'm just gonna switch. This is not worth my time. Take way too long. Uh, unfortunately, though, I don't really have any other option besides using Swellow, though, so I guess I'll switch in Swellow. Mega Drain. Yeah, it's not gonna do nothing. I mean, it's gonna do something, but very little, so I'm okay with that. Let's see. Yeah, Aerial Ace, let's go. Very nice. Talk about a quick one shot. Yeah, I love Swellow. Such a cool Pokemon. It's too bad they didn't give him another evolution, because if they did, Swellow would probably. I mean, he'd be the middle evolution, but the final evolution would be so cool. Wow, just how strong are you? Very strong, very strong. Over 9,000. And there we go, Shumish is evolving. There we go. Been waiting for this for too long. Now Shumish finally gets to be a part of the team in a way that is actually significant. Brillo. Oh, I love that. Looks so cool. Yeah, definitely one of my favorite grass types right here. And Mac Punch, right? Where is it? Wants on the move, Mac Punch. Hell yeah. Yes, forget. Uh, I'm actually not sure what I want to get rid of because Headbutt's really good. I kind of like Leech Seed, but Leech Seed's kind of just, you know, extra Mega Drain. I could keep Leech Seed and get rid of Poison Powder. Seems like a decent idea. Yeah, I'd rather have Leech Seed because Leech Seed not only does the same amount of damage to the opponent as like a Poison would, but it also heals me. So Leech Seed's just a better poison if you ask me. Learn Mac Punch. Nice. We've got a strong trainer here. This one's really strong. Yeah, no shit, man. I'm the best. You're stronger than mom. Wow. But I'm strong too. Really, honestly. Uh-huh. <laughs> What's with these four strong trainers just chill in their house? Like, would it make more sense for them to go and take on the gyms or something if they're so strong, apparently? I don't know. Just seems a little strange to me, but whatever. But yeah, here we go. Brelum for his first battle. Let's see the damage of Mac Punch. 40 power move, it does that much damage. This goes to show you how strong this Brelum is. Love it. And yeah, I'll use Headbutt to finish him off. I like how you headbutt it with his hand there. That was actually kind of funny. <laughs> the hand in the animation, but his head, apparently his head does the damage, because it's a headbutt, of course. I don't even know. Alright, Brelum. More Mac Punch. Let's go. Look at that damage. God, I love Brelum so much. He's such a tank. And you have a Shroomish. Oh, poor you. You haven't evolved yours yet. Let me show you what a Mac Punch is really like. Of course, Brelum has... Or not Brelum. Uh, Shroomish has pretty good defense, so he'll survive. But it won't be enough to survive the head button coming up next. There we go. Beautiful. Huh? Did I really lose? No, no, you've won the game. I'm, I'm sitting here in dust, completely done. I've lost. This stinks. Snivel, grandma! Oh yeah, go cry to your grandma, that's the solution. Just all your problems. How dare you make my precious daughter cry. I, or granddaughter. I didn't make her cry, she's just a crybaby. I just stood here beat her in a first straight Pokemon battle. I see, I need to teach you a lesson. <laughs> teach me a lesson, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Get out the belt? Prepare to feel the sting of defeat. Yeah, because defeat stings. Right. I wouldn't know. Demonstrate Vicky. Sent up Metatite. Oh, this garlic onion motherfucker. Damn it. I hate this guy. Well, regardless, Brelum's gonna kick some butt. The question is, I don't think Mac Punch would actually do that much because he's part psychic, so I'll slowly drain him to death with Leech Seed and Mega Drain. Oh yeah, Meditate, you fucking 
this ugly ass Pokemon. God, I hate this Pokemon so much. Alright, and that's gonna give me to full health too. Nice. Alright, time to spam Mega Drain. Force Palm. Talk about rape. Jesus. Effect Spore. Yes! Put him to sleep. That's awesome. I mean, the best, obviously, would be putting him for, uh, freezing him, but I don't think you actually can freeze him with the Vex Spore, so that's totally fine by me. Yeah, I think with the Vex Spore, it's only Paralyze, Poison, or Sleep, which is totally fine by me. Alright, Mega Drain again. Yes, still asleep. Yeah, I think Brelum's gonna be able to take this guy out without any problems from here. But I don't think the Leech Seed is gonna kill him on this turn, though. Is it? Let's see. Yeah, not quite. I was right. And not quite full health either, but that's okay. Well, he's just headbutt to finish him off. Yeah, still asleep. I love how Pokemon don't wake up when you're wailing on them like this. It's kind of silly if you ask me. I mean, if, I think if you put a Pokemon to sleep, it should wake up as soon as it gets hit by something strong, right? If it's a weak attack, then yeah, sleep through it. But if it's a strong attack that does, like, anything over one quarter of your health, I think it should wake you up. And I actually didn't read what she said. Whoops. If you're not in a hurry, visit us a while. Oh, now all of a sudden me making her cry is fine. What's up? So let's see here. There's four people in this one tiny house with no beds. Do they all just like lie on this table together when they go to sleep? <laughs> you're the first trainer I've seen employ Pokemon with such mastery. But I should warn you, my son is stronger than you. He even challenged the Pokemon League. Or challenged the Pokemon League. I'll have you know. Hallelujah. I actually have no idea who their son is. My mom is stronger than dad, I'm stronger than mom, and grandma is stronger than me. My big brother is even stronger than my grandma is. That's great. Yeah, I actually have no idea who their big brother is. It's probably like... Uh, what's that guy's name for the Elite Four? Uh, the first guy. I can't remember his name. So he uses Dark Pokemon. Our family uses this Macho Brace to strengthen our Pokemon more effectively during their training. You may not eat it, considering that you beat the whole of us, but I, I hope you'll accept it anyway. Macho Brace. Yeah, I'm probably never going to use that because it reduces my speed and it's just it's not totally worth it unless you're really trying to grind your Pokemon stats. When it comes to Pokemon battles, we're pretty passionate. That's great. Sup, old lady. There's no question that you're strong, but if you ever challenge my grandson, you'll end up crying in frustration. He's stronger than any trainer we know. My grandson must be challenged the Pokemon League champion by now. Oh, my grandson, he could be the champion already. What the hell is this? E he 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 Who laughs like that? E he 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 and twisted old bitch. Alrighty. So. Let's. Ooh, that was a bit of a lag spike. Uh, let's go ahead and use a restore. And let's remove the paralyze, I think, on him. There we go. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's switch out this guy with Marsh Tomp. And we'll change Marsh Tomp for a little bit. Haven't used him all that much. Or her, I should say. Is there anything else in this area? It doesn't really look like it. Alright, so here's the rocks that we can finally smash. It's a cracked boulder. A Pokemon may be able to break it. That use rock smash, of course. Ziggs is good here for a reason. So we have to waste our HMs on that kind of crap. What's up, dude? If you don't raise your Pokemon some more, it may be tough to keep winning through the ranks. I've heard the Pokemon's Elite Four are as far stronger than any gym leader. Hmm. Oh, are these stupid interviewers? I hate these people. Do I have my two level 22s? Yeah, okay, cool. Because I think this is a double battle. Oh, we've just spotted a tough looking trainer. Here are all places. Okay, roll camera. Let's get this interview. Yeah, I've understood these interview people. They're in some of the games and they're just really pointless, frankly. I don't see the point of them. I mean, they're just a double battle, essentially. But then afterwards, they ask you about something and then I usually just give them some really bullshit answer. Like butthole or something. Okay, I'm just going to use Mudshot on Magnemite. And may as well use Thunderfang on Wismer as well. Wismer is going to take a bit longer, but we can definitely one-shot this this uh, Magnemite. Peace out, Magnemite. Nice knowing you. Critical hit, too. I don't think it really mattered, though. Astonish? Yeah, that's that's not going to be enough. It's not going to do anything. <laughs> Alright, and eh, let's switch it up. Use Water Gun. And switch it up again. Let's use Spark. 
variety is the spice of life. Very nice. All right, bye bye, Wismir. Very easy battle. My eyes did not deceive me. Amazing trainer spotted. We found an amazing trainer. This is a massive scoop. A scoop, yeah, that's that's what this is. And see, now they're gonna talk to me about some stupid thing. Awesome, awesome, who are you? I knew we were onto something wild when we spotted you. Oh, please, let me explain. We travel around everywhere, interviewing all sorts of trainers. Care to give us a bit of your time for an interview? Sure, why not? You will? Thank you. Okay, I need to describe your feelings about our battle, but it has to be short and sweet. Go. Alright. Nipple. Oopsies. There. I think that perfectly describes how I feel about this battle. Hmm. Yeah, that's perfect. Clink. Clincher. What? I get the feeling that this will make a great TV show. <laughs> a TV show about nipple. There's a chance that they'll air this on BuzzNav, so make sure to look out for us. Okay, we'll be seeing you. So let's look at this BuzzNav crap. Ah, oh, don't care. What the hell is this? What street pass you can swap news with other players? Sure. Sure, yeah, whatever. I don't know what this is. Okay, end. Yeah, whatever. All right. Oh, another trainer. I don't know where you're going, but would you like to battle? All right, I was hoping that I would see the thing on the buzz now, but I guess not. <laughs> you were challenged by Picnicker Irene. Sent up Plusle. All right, well. I'm pretty sure I can handle a Plusle without any problems. Alright, March Tomp, show them why you're the king of the water types. But you're not, but, you know, at least make it seem that way. <laughs> With a mud shot. Man, if I used my bomb, you would have died. Damn. Encore. Well, <laughs> at least I didn't take any hits. See ya, Puzzle. Stupid Pikachu wannabe. Nice. Illumise. Oh no, not these things. God, I hate these things. And their battle cry is so retarded, too. Can I use Rock Tomb? I can only use Mud Shot. Oh, looks like I'm switching. I thought that by some chance that Encore ended when the Pokemon died, but I guess not. So yeah, I'll put an Electric and take this guy out slowly but surely. Struggle Bug. How does that work? Just random little bugs just came and hit me or something? <laughs> Alright, oh, she's Spark. My evasiveness heavily fell. I don't see the point of that unless she's using some move that's gonna miss a lot. A nice little crit there. I'll use Quick Attack. Maybe I'll take him out. Please take him out. Oh my god, I hate that so much. No! Okay, well, Charm, it's a little late for that. Yeah, you're basically already dead, man. Bye bye. Nice knowing ya. Nice. Picking your Irene. You're just disgustingly good. Of course I am. Anything else in this area? Alright, well, this Buzznaf thing's telling us nothing about the nipple story, so. Let's switch back to this one. And there's another trainer here. Let's see. Uh, yeah, let's switch into. Let's do all that trick. Alrighty, what's up, Picnicker dude? I'm full of pep, my Pokemon is peppy too. Peppy. Why do people use that word? <laughs> I mean, I know it has a meaning now, but I mean, there's so many better words that don't sound ridiculous. Oh, hey, I'm peppy. And this is peppy too. Or something like that. Alright, well, I can't really handle a sand shoe with electric, so I'll switch into. I'll use Brellum. <laughs> Any chance I get to use Brellum, I think I'll take it, essentially, because I love this Pokemon so much. He is so cool. Swift. Uh, why would it? I don't even know. I'm not gonna ask. I'm just trying to figure out like why, <laughs> why a Sanshu would know that move, and why that's its battle animation to spit on the floor, then random stars come out of nowhere. It just doesn't really fit, you know. But whatever. Sanshu's gone. This Brelum is a tank. Bye bye, camper. My pawn lost its pep. Lost more than its pep. It lost its virginity because we raped it. 
Alright, and there's a backpacker here. Uh, I'll sneak past him. What's up here? Oh yeah, this area. Yeah, I can't keep going because I don't have the goggle things yet. Alright, back backpacker bro. My Pokemon are even more lively than usual when they get out of here in nature. How can they tell the difference? They're in Pokeballs. I've mean, understood that, that trainers, like, even in the anime, too, like, they'll talk to their Pokeballs, like, oh, I'm counting on you, or something like that. It's like, how does it speak to you? It's in a ball. Like, it's not just... I don't know. I have not understood that. I thought backpackers were supposed to use, like, rock and fighting Pokemon, but this guy's got a Talos, so hallelujah for me. Oh, man. I also want to go faster. This didn't do much damage. And one more level, this guy would be a Swellow, so good for me, huh? <laughs> well, bye. And there's a level up. Very nice. As far as I recall, Electric evolves level 26, but it might be 24. I'm not totally sh certain about that. I hope it's 24, but I think it's 26. Alrighty, what's next? So, yeah, I think I'll just train Brelum some more, because he's just that cool. And what's over here? Ah, oh, hey, there's May. Ah! Captain Monk! Look, right up there, that's Mount Chimney! Mount Chimney. <laughs> Wonder who's the designer that came up with that name. Very, very clever. It sure is big. No more like huge. It totally takes my breath away. Oh, I can totally take your breath away. <laughs> I'd love to take the cable car all the way up to the top someday. Hmm, hey Captain Monk, don't your Pokemon seem a bit ragged around the edges? Here, let me give them a little boost. Oh, she kills them for me. How oh, nice! Here, take this too. Oh, HM4 strength. Nice. That's one of the only HMs I can't actually use with Zigzagoon, but that's okay. I bet you can find all kinds of ways to use it in the mountains that lie ahead. But it won't work outside of battle if you don't have a, jam a gym badge from Labyrinth Gym. Labyrinth Gym. Damn, I'm having so much problems reading this. <laughs> Gasp. What am I doing nattering away here? I'm supposed to be on my way to Falibor to visit Professor Cosmo. I'm off for now, Captain Monk. But let's... Battle some next time. Wait, wait, what? I'm so confused. She said she's going to Falibor, which is like the other way, and, it, and it, it, she runs this way. Like, what? I, I don't even know. Okay, well, that's that. Let's see. So, we have strength now, so we have to teach it to something that's not Zigzagoon, because Zigzagoon can't learn it. But what I'm thinking is, I don't really actually technically need it until I beat the gym, and by that point, I could probably get a line in. So, I think I'll just do exactly that. What's up, little dude? I'm strong. I won't cry if I lose. I'm strong, I won't cry if I lose. Oh, man. Like, it's so, like, it's so far from being the definition of strong. Oh, well. It kind of reminds me of those memes of, Oh, hey, I saw uh, my crush making out with my best friend for four hours, and I only cried for three. Uh, those are all over the internet. Those are fun. I probably should use used uh, Mac Punch, but Headbutt will do. Headbutt will more than do. Rip. Zubat. Alright, I'm pretty sure Headbuck can take this guy out too. Look at Brelum with his eyes of awesomeness. He's just like, I will kill everyone. <laughs> Love it. The one shots are real. Level 24, nice. Oh, look at those stat raises from a fully evolved Pokemon. I love it. It's great. Wow! Oh, yeah, you're crying, little bitch. Back to mommy. You don't belong out here in the wild. Alright, looks like there's one more trainer there. So let's switch out our Brelum for a while and use Electric some more. Because Electric's pretty god awful, but once he turns into a Manectric, he's actually pretty beast. When you're out on a picnic, why simply have to why you simply have to sing? Wait. I I'm reading this over and over again, making sure I'm getting it right, but yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> Come on, sing with me. Why do you have to sing on a picnic? What the what, what kind of weird people do that? Man, Jesus. Gulpin. Alright. Alright, Electric, you're up, buddy. And yeah, let's just spam Thunderfang. Maybe we'll toss in some sparks in there, too, but not much more we can do. Does that can do damage? Okay, didn't do too much. What did it lower? Special defense? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we can handle this Gulpin. I think that acid spray move is new though. Ooh, a crit. Nice. 
Man, very little XP. It takes forever to level up electric. It's so annoying. Oh, you're so strong. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. If I had a nickel for every time I heard that. All right, let's climb on up. See what's up here. Hiker dude. Hiker dude. Sky trainer. Yep. Haha, <laughs> how about we have a battle? You and me. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, because me, me and you battling is just so funny. Hiker Bryce. Numble. All right. I feel like I have to switch out because I don't really have anything to use against a Numble. So that's quick attack, and we all know how strong that move is. So, yeah, I think I'll switch into our Marsh Tomp. Our trusty old Marsh Tomp. Go, Marsh Tomp! God, imagine how cool it would be to actually have Pokemon in real life. I mean, it'd be very dangerous, and there, it, I'm sure terrorists of some sort would try to take over the world with a really strong Pokemon, but it'd still be awesome, because then you have really good trainers who are good people who'd fend them off. It'd be awesome. It wouldn't be much different from this reality, to be honest with you. I mean, there'd obviously be some changes, but as far as good versus evil would be, I think it'd be pretty similar. And let's go ahead here and use a Mud Bomb, I think. Plenty of damage with that. Oh yeah, plenty of damage. Oh, almost a one-shot. Yeah, Machop, you're getting to that point in the game where you're just not that good anymore. Nice. I lost. Ha 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 ha. Oh, that's funny too, huh? And this guy finds everything funny. My wife just died! Ha 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 ha! What's up? Grumble. You two never cease to complain, Grumble. Alright, well, these guys aren't moving. So I guess I have to go in there. So I guess I'll buy this trainer. And then I'll probably uh, continue on the next episode, I think. Uh, my legs are sore from pounding up and down the mountains. They're not going to buckle easily, friend. You hike your guys and talk about hiking. I'm just talking about something else. No one cares about walking, man. It's not that interesting. And of course, more Pokemon and Electric cannot take on. More Marsh Tomp it is. Alright, Marsh Tomp, you are up. Magnitude 9. Oh, man. Isn't that basically an Earthquake? I don't know. Magnet Mag I think 10 is 100 power. I might be wrong, though. And I got a crit, too, so that hurt. But Water Gun should be able to take it out. No issues. Yep, see ya, Geodude. More like Geo dead. Oof. So good. Another one, alright. Looks like it's gonna make a Geo Geo dead squared. Oh no, he has sturdy. Damn. Rock polish. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's gonna make you fast enough, buddy. But it might. I might be wrong. Let's see. Nope, not fast enough. That was right. Yeah, you can st you can shine garbage all you want, but it'll still be garbage. There we go, level 24. Very nice. And look at that stat raise. Mm, get it. Another Geodude. This guy's got a fetish for Geodudes. Talk about a very easy battle. A <laughs> very boring one, too, but what, what can you do? And then he complained about his legs, I'm pretty sure. I didn't really fully read it, but whatever. And I guess that's it for this area. Uh, I completely forgot to actually use my uh, item finder, but I don't think there's actually anything in that area. So in the next episode, I'll continue this firing pa fiery path and the rest of this route, I guess, until we finally get to the fourth gem, which is going to take a while, but we'll, we'll get there eventually, hopefully. So that's it for this episode. I hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to you know rate the video and subscribe and all that good stuff. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.